Double A. Ben, this was something that Ashley Hodge, is one of the partners, owners of Sikkim365.com, dropped this little nugget, drove everybody in the, in the forum section crazy. This was a post-Ramblings scatter shooting, I think on Sunday morning after the win against Iowa State Saturday night in basketball. He just, in, this, in all, all these words, like there's just one line about Gary Patterson and Baylor. And, and like everyone was, wait, 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 what, what? And then there were some, what I consider those who I know that are sometimes in the forums or otherwise saying, hey, Patterson to Baylor is going to happen. So this morning, Colt Barber drops the, uh, the official bomb that a coach that Baylor fans hate, that in some cases the program at one point hated, uh, a coach that hated Baylor, a coach that he and Art Bryles hated each other, no matter whatever was said, um, is now going to be on Dave Aranda's staff at Baylor as a senior analyst. Aranda taking over the defense, still head coach. Patterson is another pair of eyeballs, along with Matthew Pollage. Um, if you, the hell froze over this morning. Now, is it a right move? Is it a good move? What does it mean? That remains to be seen. Hell, you have Bryles at TCU and Gary freaking Patterson at Baylor. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild to think it. I know that, like, you know, uh, we had a lot of people, and the first, the first tweet I got was, like, Chris Bartels kind of needling me saying. I saw that. <laughs> uh, well, I thought Paul said it would never happen. I'm like, never thought it would. You know, and there were a lot of people that, you know, during the year this year, look, I had Garrett and I heard on the post game show, it should be uh, Gary Patterson should be the next head coach at yeah. Baylor, and I do think, and I I tell him to his face, like I I think it, times a head coach right now doesn't seem to be like his style fits that, but defensive analyst is a is a nice role for him. I don't think he, I mean, look, he's not really pushing to get in a in a head coaching job, is he? Like. He hasn't been well, in the... Well, he's been... I don't know what year was it. 21, Baylor had that really good team. Yeah. Uh, 21, after that, at the end of the year, uh, the same year that Joey went to Tech, right? And then Patterson's gone. That's, is that that same year? So it's been 22, 23. This will be his third and a half year out. Uh, he went to Texas, spent a couple of years. It depends on who you ask whether he made a difference there or not. Their defense this year was their best defense, and maybe, uh, uh, maybe some of the input the last couple of years helped. Um, this is, to me, this is sports hypocritical. Yeah. I know, and I've seen it, that some Baylor fans are like, if he can help us win, who are also the same that have said, F him. Now, I'm going to have fun with this. Gary Patterson, before you step on the campus at Baylor, you must unblock thousands of Baylor fans that you spent time blocking for whatever damn reason for the last decade. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He doesn't have time. So, he has no time to coach. He now needs to go back and unblock thousands of Baylor fans. Craig is on that list. Are you? No, no. I'm not. Uh, I remember texting Gary Patterson just a couple of weeks ago when Jared Anderson was hired as the offense, as the uh, tight ends coach. And um, I. Uh, let's see. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I, yeah, am, yeah. I am not blocked from following at, at, at football coach P. Paxton so. saying that he said Patterson for Baylor head coach months ago. I think people can almost, I think most fans can at least put up with the analyst role. I know there's been some that have said, hey, why not him as the head coach? I think most people would say hell no. I would tell you why not him. He's Look, he, he just went 5-7 and seven with a roster that went to the national championship a year, year later. You know, there, there's there's reasons for that. I'm not dogging him as a coach. I think as a coach, especially as a defense of mine, he's next level brilliant, and that's what he needs to be doing. But head coaching is different now. He has a style that I don't think works anymore. I, I, I really don't think it does. I think that you're going to see more coaches, and I'm, I'm going to go cross sports here, but more Jamie Chadwells and Scott Drews and people like that that are a little bit more, you know, um, Personable. Personable and not uh, always um, like a snake in a basket. Like, that's that's kind of how he was, like, just ready to strike at any time. And that last year, and I hope that he's 
found a little bit of, you know, maybe relaxation, but you could tell the stress was getting to him because he started like, you know, he always had some sort of weird conspiracy theories about things, but like that last year, like SMU was trying to hurt Jerry Kill and like all these other things, like, you know, it just got, it's got out of hand. The, the tweet of the day, um, well, when I said he didn't have time, the coach gets to unblock a lot of Baylor fans, thousands of Baylor fans. Stewart, Orion Stewart, former Baylor safety, who could not stand Gary Patterson because Gary Patterson, remember, had that uh, game in Fort Worth where he called out Ahmad Dixon. Ahmad Dixon was Orion Stewart's homie. Well, they, he, that, called him, he called them both out, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, he, yeah. but he, and, and Orion, Orion, after one of the games in which Baylor won, it might have been 61-58. God, I don't remember. He went up to Patterson and had a little confrontation, and Gary said something about uh, no one. It was like, oh, my God, he pulled a knife on me or something. But but uh, it threatened me. So this is interesting across the board. But yeah. sports hypocritical. Some fans who hate him who all of a sudden go, well, you know, he might be able to help us win another couple games or two. And that's where you are right now with Baylor because they've struggled. Mm -hmm. Now, whose decision was this? Whose decision do you think this was? It is Dave Aranda's decision. It has to be Dave Aranda's. If it's not Dave Aranda's, then it's a bigger problem. Well, and I'm not saying it's a problem. Dave Aranda has before complimented and has had respect and has mentioned it about Gary Patterson. Whether this makes them, helps them win a game. If it, help, if it just helps them beat TCU, and you know that fan base is like, damn, somebody went to the stadium where Gary Patterson has a statue at Eamon Carter Stadium and put a Baylor t-shirt and a hat on him. Yeah, it's a great picture. I mean, and, and I, I want to give the guy credit who did that. He went to uh, Rally House. Who was it? Um, I think it's Josh Conrad. Josh Conrad, is that right? Yeah. Double check. It's on. It's in the. It's um. Golly, it, it was in the board. But okay. Is let's we, let's look at this from every angle. Does it help the staff? Gary Patterson being on the staff. I, I would I would say it doesn't hurt it right now. Okay. I mean, you know. So you think that Gary Patterson, in any way, shape, or form, hiring him, part of him thinks, um, if everything starts poorly, then. I might have a chance to become the head coach. No, I don't think that. Josh Carson. Is Josh correct. Carson. Yeah. Josh Carson. No, I don't think that. I don't think that at all. And I don't think he that He has that been would known be. to be manipulative. Yeah. He is known to try to get in people's ears. We, I spoke with several people who have either worked at TCU or worked for TCU. And they're like, man, be careful. Now, this is a place that he was beloved. He got a statue. statue. He got a statue. Yeah. And so. And I don't know if we'll ever like, have a I, chance I, to visit with him. But I, the first thing I would ask him is, why did you not block me? <laughs> I feel offended. Yeah, uh, he's probably not going to want to talk to me or Craig. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, like this is Dave Aranda's decision. He he respects the academics of people, the um, their credentials when it comes to strategy and the way they break down film and the way that they build a game plan. And Gary Patterson, as far as building a game plan for an individual game defensively there's not many that are as good as him so i understand dave aranda reaching out and look if they get along they get along and look uh, gary patterson may be at the facility 10 hours a week and watching film all the rest of the time he's doing it you know he may not be there like these analyst roles are not necessarily it's not as hard work hard labor yeah it's not but it's not the you know it's not a it's not the full-time head coaching gig or we don't or know coordinator. It, uh, we, I, I mean we don't know what his hours are but like he's brought in to to find the little things. That's what the analysts do. He's almost like self-scouting, and yet he's also there making sure, so, okay, what about what I see on tape of it or film uh, of an upcoming team or something? I, 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 here's, here's the other thing I know. Um, if Dave Aranda does not succeed, then... Gary Patterson's not going to be the next head coach because Gary Patterson's role in that wasn't helpful. Well, because if in that and, was the case, then he was available last at the end of yeah, last season and, when there were some thoughts about what's going to happen. And B, um, Mac Rhodes has a history of um, dismissing or not dismissing or um, locking horns and making sure that they know he's the athletic director with strong-willed head coaches. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so I don't know if he wants to get back in that business after the good Lord God moved 
um, the last strong-willed head coach to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There's no question, though, Aranda had to clear this with Mac. It's his yeah, football yeah, yeah. program and probably had to sit out and explain a little bit well, to him. Got, you got to go ask him for money yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for those of you